all things new, a lay reaction. This is for my fellow Catholics in the Archdiocese of St. Louis. Hi, I'm Tom Borak, a husband and father of four. I homeschooled my own children through high school and taught the Catholic faith to other children at the parish level for about 10 years. I've been active in the pro-life movement. I'm now retired, but I do a tiny bit of unpaid research, writing, and speaking on Catholic topics. And now to our subject. All Things New is a three-year program designed by the clerical hierarchy of the St. Louis Archdiocese in conjunction with a management consulting firm known as the Catholic Leadership Institute. It is intended to A, reduce the number of parishes in the archdiocese by more than 50%, and B, to replace or transform existing parishes to create what the consultants call next generation parishes. The program is designed to involve as many of the faithful as possible. We have and will submit multiple choice surveys. We will be invited to participate in listening sessions and to submit narrative ideas in writing. Later, there will be training sessions and various meetings and activities designed to help us become what the consultants call disciples or missionaries in the reimagined next generation parishes. For nearly all parishioners, participation will include meaningful involvement neither in the decision-making regarding the parish closures nor in the design of the next generation parishes. Those decisions have largely been made already. Bishop Rozanski is a smart, well-educated man with decades of experience performing executive functions for large dioceses. He's certainly known about the ever-shrinking numbers of the faithful and been thinking about responses to that shrinkage for decades. Like any competent executive, he foresaw the need to close or consolidate parishes and developed opinions about when to take such action and about what action to take. Whether or not he's developed a complete list of parishes to close, he certainly knows what criteria he wants to use, and none of us are likely to substantially change his longstanding and well-reasoned opinions. Similarly, the next generation parish model has already been designed by the Catholic Leadership Institute. The Archdiocese hired the Institute, at least in part, on the strength of that design. The Archbishop is not planning to create a new design based upon information obtained from parishioners. Accordingly, after parish closures, when we join our new or rapidly changing parishes, we will be asked to participate in activities designed by the Institute to develop our enthusiasm for and participation in the next generation parish model. So, what is the next generation model about? What problems is it intended to solve? What are its goals? What's the theory behind it? Will it address the factors that have caused the shrinking number of Catholics? I'll begin to address these issues in a few days in a piece tentatively entitled, What to Expect from the Catholic Leadership Institute and the Next Generation Parishes. I hope that some of you will take the time to provide me with some feedback on this video. Please help me improve my understanding. For more information, check out the links listed below. Thank you for your kind attention.